and she doesn't look vacancy or she doesn't look she has any Okay. Roughly 37 million women each year have a mammogram to check for signs of breast cancer. But a costly procedure to diagnose women with cancer after a suspicious mammogram is apparently being used too often. Uh, right here is where we're looking. That's according to a new University of Florida study that suggests surgical breast biopsy should not be the only option to diagnose abnormalities in a mammogram. Researchers say less invasive and less expensive needle biopsies should be considered more often as a safer alternative to surgical procedures for most women. Patients need to be aware that uh, not every abnormality seen on an imaging study requires an operation and that uh, patients should be aware that a needle biopsy in many cases is quite appropriate as an initial diagnostic maneuver. UF researchers say about 30 percent of women in Florida with a suspicious mammogram have an operation to check for cancer, but that's three times higher than national recommendations. Experts say a surgical breast biopsy often costs twice as much as a needle biopsy. A shorter recovery time and lower complication rates are also a benefit of needle biopsies compared with surgical biopsies. For most of the lesions that are being biopsied, about 7 in 10 turn out to be benign. And uh, this is another reason that we think needle biopsy is important because most of these patients ultimately, if they have a needle biopsy that's done properly, most of the patients will not need a surgical procedure. Researchers say surgery can also interfere with potential treatments if you are diagnosed with cancer. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Bilowich.